So I have the most amazing thing to report. So I have been carnivore now for two years and four months. One of the, the biggest banes of my life was having to, that I would wake up at night two or three times, dressed desperately thirsty, but desperately needing the loo. <laughs> so I would be getting up every night, two or three times in the night, visiting the loo, coming back, drinking water. I would be drinking about a liter to a liter and a half, maybe a liter and a half to two at night. Um, waking up incredibly thirsty. So I'm a little bit slow on the uptake. So when I went and checked out as to why, okay, so insulin resistant diabetes um, would cause that. Your body, your body would produce more urine, which would then go to your bladder, which would then need to be emptied. And because it would produce more urine, you would draw the water out of your body, you'd wake up incredibly thirsty. And it's worse at night, although it happens in the day as well. So this wake up and go to the loo has been going on for years and years and years. Um, the last camping trip I did, that was dreadful. We, we had set up camp inadvertently very far from the ablution block. And walking from the tent to the ablution block, there was a huge mud patch in the middle. And I, yeah, I suppose I could have just gone behind the tent. You know, it could have been easy. But I didn't. I walked all the way to the loo. And um, that was terrible. Oh, the one night, so you had to skirt this mud patch. <laughs> and the one night I woke up and I was like tired and, and I just went straight through the mud patch. <laughs> so I ended up having to wash my feet. I was covered in mud. My, it was just ridiculous. Um, it was about ankle deep mud, <laughs> watery mud. <laughs> like whatever yeah so that was the last camping trip i would do i just said i can't you know unless you camp right at the ablution block and of course half the family doesn't want to so they don't want to be near the ablution block so that was me saying okay call it quits i don't do camping one week ago <laughs> when i woke up on monday morning i was like oh something happened i slept through i slept through I didn't need water, I didn't need the loo, what happened? Tuesday night, slept through. I did wake up, but I didn't need to drink water and I didn't need to get up, so I went back to sleep. Um, Tuesday night, same thing, Thursday, Wednesday night, same thing, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Last night was Sunday night. Sunday night I woke up, I, look I go to bed very early, I go to bed just after 8, half past 8, 9, by 9 I'm asleep. So I woke up and it was 11, so it wasn't in the middle of the night, it was it was early in the, in the night. I woke up at about 11 and went to the loo. So I was like, oh please don't let it start up again. Went back to bed, slept right through until this morning 6 o'clock. No wake up, no drinking. Yes, when I woke up at 6 o'clock I drank water. That I did do, but I didn't, I drank the water and I didn't need to get out of bed immediately to go, I could do that quiet thing that you're supposed to do when you wake up. You're supposed to stay in that state of quiet calmness, meditating on the night's messages that might have come to you via a dream, or meditating on the night's thoughts that you put into your mind and heart to, to process, and meditate on the day ahead of you. you. You're supposed to do that for 20 minutes. Well, I could do that this morning. I didn't have to get out of bed first and then go to the loo and then get back into bed and only then meditate. I actually stayed in bed. When I got up, I didn't go straight to the loo. I went through, fed the cats because they're always like, oh, desperate, we're hungry. Fed the cats, put the kettle on, went to the loo. That's it. I mean, what what is happening? It's like amazing. So it looks like that part of the healing is taken two years and four months. Um, we're trusting Yes, so this is my excitement, the excitement. It's great, great excitement. Um, yeah. So it's a Monday instead of being the weekend. So, um, yeah. Carnival rocks, for sure. For definite sure. The only thing that I'm hoping, I'm hoping will will recover is my eyes, my eyesight. Uh, I, and I'm hoping to get carnival eyes. So there's two people, Bill Knott, you'll see his eyes have 
Yeah, they've got kind of, and also Kerry from Homestead Health, Healing Humanity. He's also got con noticeably got carnival eyes. So um, I'm hoping I'm going to get carnival eyes. So that's what they look like from the outside. Shiny, healthy, <laughs> looking gorgeous. Mine, I just w would like to see without my glasses. And I'm still just wearing readers. I've got a I've got a distance vision problem as well as a um, close. So it's a bit of an inconvenience. I do we need to wear bifocals, but I don't like the bifocals. Yes. Okay. Carnival rocks. Repeat that. I don't know how many times. Grateful to carnival. Grateful. Grateful. Grateful to God. <laughs> 